hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl is in williams how are you all doing hope you guys are doing great hope you guys are having fun hope the week has been treating you well yes so because before you know it now it's gonna be thank god it's friday by tomorrow but don't worry don't fret because your girl is here to bring you all the gist hot 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 and not just gist too Hmm. You see, eh, there's going to be this pool party for all the Malians. If you are a Malian in the house, this is great news for you. Um, there's going to be a pool party at Nikon Luxury Hotels. Yes, in Abuja. So for all the Malians in Abuja, get ready to, you know, come for your red cups and ginger pool party. Yes, because Naira Mali is going to be there live and direct. And wait, though, you don't have to break the bank, you know, to get tickets to this thing. You know, you can get um online for 2,000 Naira from Naira Box, um, 50,000 Naira for VVIP, for all the VVIP. Um, table for four is about 100,000 Naira. Platinum is a million Naira. 2,500 for regular um, tickets at the venue. 10,000 Naira for VIP and 500,000 Naira for gold. Yes, yes, yes. And you know the sweetest part. If you're going to stick around to the end of this video, you might as well um, win for yourself a ticket to go see Naira Mali at this beautiful pool party, which is being um, organized by Pima Records. Yes, and there, it's not just Naira Mali that's going to be coming new. There's Eriga, there's Reyes, there's Adam Swag, there's DJ Mills, there's um, Rapizo coming all the way from London, there's Juma B. All these are going to be held at Nikon Luxury Hotel, Gariki Area 11. So I have two tickets that I'm going to be giving to two of my, you know, my lucky lucky people you know i'm just gonna be if you're interested just let me know in the comment section but i'm gonna be telling you um yeah just stick to the end of the video so let's dive into our gist in the spirit of you know um party and all that a big congratulations to burner boy burner boy just got nominated for um the grammy awards you know and he um his um his album the african giant got nominated this was after the whole south african thing you know he was supposed to be um perform performing at the play networks um africa unite um africa unite concert that was supposed to be held in south africa but because of all the security things that were happening you know it wasn't good for him to come so he cancelled and automatically the show was cancelled yes and now just like how many you know hours after the show was cancelled there is this good news and mm -hmm, there's also a big congratulations to Hello Zanam. Yes, Hello Zanam just got signed to the Rising um, Female as their brand ambassador. There's so much brand ambassador um brand ambassador thing going on. Um EK got um endorsed to I think Peru something something. I don't know how to pronounce it. I beg. Let me not um go and bite my tongue. He just got um nominated. Did I say nominated? He just got signed and I think EK is in South Africa right now. Um Twoyo got um, his ambassadorial, you know, deal with Oprah, Oprah Mini, same with Sadi. Yes, yes, yes. These guys are really, really cashing out. And Mercy, Lamborghini Mercy, got signed with Sim Electronics. Now, let me break this whole ambassador thing down. You know, your girl, I don't, I don't give you just just. I gotta break it down for you guys. So, um. Messi got this um, ambassador with Sims Electronics, yeah? But she's not actually representing Sims Re Electronics as a whole. She's actually representing, um, she's like the brand ambassador for a product um, that's Royal Electronics, which also, which is being marketed by Sims Electronics. This Royal um, Electronics is um, an Arabian, you know, company, and she's actually representing them here in Nigeria. Hope you get that just like um you have people that distribute let's say you have um jumia or something then a product you know you are their brand ambassador so yeah it's not actually um seems electronic like all the electronic companies that is being rep represented by seems but royal electronics now moving on mercy lamborghini is on the cover of the exquisite magazine she is looking every bit of beauty Four. Yeah, she's looking every bit of beautiful. Wow. 
Look at that hair. Well, talking about that, I'm going to be mentioning another endorsement. Now, this endorsement has caused a lot of wahala. This endorsement has shaken. Like today, I just could not rest. My phone was beeping. I'm like, oh God, what is going on? Just because of one endorsement or partnership. Yes, before I go into that, Tatcha, you all know it's how I'm going to be talking about, right? Yeah, you all know it's Tatcha. Now, because she's always in the you know, middle of all this. So Tatcha, um, some days ago, let me just start from there. During, um, I think that was Jack's birthday, the Twitter guy, his birthday, and she released that FaceTime thing. Now, a lot of people were saying it's audio. Now, if they say audio in Nigeria, you, what they mean is actually that it's fake. Now, um, hmm. I am not an iPhone user, so I'm not going to be talking about things I do not know, you know, but I've had friends that I, I told, you know what, check, because a lot of people were like coming out with different things, they were saying that it's fake and all that, that it's audio, um, some people even try to FaceTime with other celebrities, now I went on, I told my friend, you know what, download this app or any other app that can do this let me check this thing by myself because i like being sure so i checked it but i saw other celebrities in the app but i never really did see jack in that um in that app you know i also called other friends to check but they still didn't see jack so i am now wondering all my iphone users because help me you know, tell me in the comment section, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's, it was a doctored, you know, FaceTime? You know, a lot of people are also saying that because it had no audio. Now, a lot of people, iPhone users came out to say that um, when you're screen recording your FaceTime on iPhone, it doesn't come with audio. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, back to the endorsement. So, Tatcha released this um, beautiful, heartwarming video last night at exactly, I think, 10 p.m. Yes, yes, don't worry, don't worry, don't mind me, my Aproko is too much like that, I, I, I like watching them. <laughs> so immediately she released that video, um, we started with Big Brother's um, disqualification, when she was disqualified, and then, you know, suggesting she's not part of the C-Rock vodka family, a lot, internet went agog, she was trending, number one trending on um, Twitter in Nigeria, number one trending in Ghana, um, number one trending in South Africa, yes, yes, all in the space of how many hours, and a lot of people started talking, some said it was fake, some said it was audio, that um, Cyril cannot sign someone like her, now I need to break this down, I've done my investigations, now, it is not audio, let me just say it, yeah, you heard it from me, it is not audio, it's actually a paid partnership, like these guys do this stuff, they did it with, I think they did it with DJ Khaled, when Ciroc Ultra, you know, um, partnered with him, um, with DJ Khaled to, re to release Summer Watermelon Flavor, that's the same thing they did with Tatcha, they, they partnered with her to release the Tatcha Fierce um, Strawberry um, or Cranberry Flavor, if I am not mistaken, so yeah, it is not audio, it's a paid partnership, she gets to... She gets her branded bottles of syrup, her own drink, yes, and she gets paid as she markets them. More like um more like an influencer job. Yeah. So a lot of people are also saying that um uh, Mercy will be signed with Syrup. I do not know that. You know your girl, I'm not gonna be giving you any gist that I do not know. Whichever one, fingers crossed, let's see what it is. I'm gonna be, you know, letting you guys know. Now, hmm. When Tatcha released this whole thing, Nina was not having it. I don't know if I'm not gonna say it's Tatcha she's shading no. I don't I'm not gonna say it's anybody she's shading, but it's quite suspicious that just after then, you know, um the next thing Nina posted this stuff here and she said audio is the new trend now. <laughs> ah Nina, oh, this table you are shaky. This table you are shaky. You are you are sitting on top of it now. How can you be shaking a table that you are sitting comfortably on? Or maybe I should remind her. Do you guys remember um during her birthday the whole thing that she wanted you know to rent a Bentley to come and say that somebody bought it for her? What, what do we call that? Do we call that visuals? A be audio, you know? And she was standing by it you know trying to pepper us on the gram until <laughs> the whole dm thing got exposed it got leaked so my advice is don't go and be shaking a table you are sitting on top yes <laughs> talking about tables guys don't forget the pool party that's going to be happening in um 
in at like night con luxury at area 11 gariki for all the malians because night Mali is going to be there live and direct you know come and do all the dance you want to do in fact if you come there and you see anybody wearing any white or yellow or green bikini that's me yeah that that that's me don't ask me don't just ask me just say isn't it if i answer you fine if i don't answer you but just know that it's me even though it's not me but just yeah just come because you're going to be having fun now let's move on to the case in the news again now she's having an ish she and her closest makeup artist you know she doesn't go anywhere without this guy in fact she traveled to dubai with this guy his name i think vugo or fugo yeah now they've been throwing shit at each other i'm like okay what is going on i've been following the whole shades and all that you know um and i got to find out <laughs> Ah, my Proko is on a hundred level base. So I got to find out the reason why, um, you know, they are b kind of beefing each other. The truth is, Tonto always never jokes with that guy. But something happened in Dubai. You see this Dubai thing, plenty things happen. When I tell you plenty things happen, from people that uh, borrowed clothes, yes. And I'm not talking about the last video I did, to... People that actually um, flew economy and had to go to first class or business class to go and snap picture, to people that even begged other people to squat them, to people that went to Dubai with only one way tickets, thinking that they are traveling from Lagos to Abuja, you took one way tickets, and now to come back is now an ish. Haha, <laughs> if you <laughs> oh lord, oh 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 anyway, I'm not even gonna go into that, isn't it? You're not going to that. So let's talk about Tonto and her makeup artist, her stylist, her makeup artist. So the gist is that it was this guy that le that leaked the whole details of her whole drama that happened with her and um the dubai security guys and all that. Yeah, it was this guy that leaked it. Apparently, this guy um was supposed to work for only tonto but when he got there he got other jobs you know because there were a lot of celebrities to work with and they needed um makeup artists and all that some of them did not come with their own so he um they needed um he needed to work with other people to make more money which tonto was not really cool with think saying that she is the one that brought him so he should be working for just her now that caused a little bit of rift now because of that the guy went on to work with cc and he was the one that told CC that, according to what I heard, he told CC about Tonto's um, ordeal in Dubai, like all the juicy details, the nitty gritty, everything. CC went ahead to sell someone, someone told someone, and it got to the um, ear of Tiana. And you all know that um, Tonto DK and Tiana are like water and oil that never mix. Now, when Toto got to hear of it, she felt betrayed. She felt the guy was not loyal. The guy on his own end said he didn't know that it would get to that extent, and that was how this whole issue came about. Guys, let me know what you think. Who do you think is wrong here? The makeup artist or Tonto? Do you think, you know... There will be any reconciliation at the end of the day. Let me know what you think. Now, from that one, we go into another one. Hmm. Now, this is about our auntie in the Lord, Auntie Jaruma. <laughs> now, before I even talk about this, she did a wonderful thing earlier in the week when me, um, Ella, Ella from Big Brother, had issues with her mom. Her mom wasn't feeling fine. So she called out to Jaruma to help her out with 600,000 error, which Jaruma did. And I totally applaud her for that. You know me. When somebody does the one that is good, I applaud you. You do the one that is not good, I, I say it. Yes 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 so um that was that but just today now there's this designer bag uh yeah that designer bag you guys are seeing right now so she put it out that is part of the jaruma um collections that if you get this bag that you're gonna it's gonna fetch you millions of naira you know that's the kind of thing she does like it's a special bag a magical bag that when you buy it you're gonna um 
you're going to be making lots of money. Like when you pay for it, then you get a call through to one of her assistants or her agents or her customer care people. They will tell you how to use the bag to make millions and millions of Naira with that bag because it has her blue eye Jaruma stuff in it. But <laughs> she got busted because some blogger actually um, go, um not googled just actually searched and found out that you know that bag is actually a designer bag and it had nothing nothing at all to do with jaroma and her blue eye now when this person went on sent the um the company that produces the bag you know send them an um a dm asking okay do you are you partnering with jaroma you know all those kind of things those questions nigerians always ask when they want to get you know down to what exactly is going on and this people said like no we don't know any jaroma and this is not this bag is our designer bag and it has nothing to do with any blue eye jaroma thing now this bag's price is compared to the price that jaroma is selling it um the bag is way cheaper compared to what jaruma is selling now what do you guys think what do you guys think about this because me i cannot come and say something ah whoa what do you guys think let me know in the comment section let me know in the comment section so guys that's about it for today and i also want to put out a word there you know a lot of times i've seen uh, in fact it's been a crazy day today like on online you see a lot of people you know mercy people touch up people mercy people touch up people i'm like oh my goodness you know when initially when they came out of the house when i saw that video with tacha and mercy actually saying that they are friends they squashed all the beef they had i was very excited in my mind i'm like okay these guys are way more mature than the um double wahala people you know but what i'm seeing what i've seen the last few days is and uh, no 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 i don't know um the last one we had with sissy and alex the fans were a lot involved in, you know there was so much fun involvement in it but the one i'm seeing now even the ladies themselves are also involving themselves in this like we can't can't we just have two queens abby there's queen of england now abby queen of england is there every other person is calling themselves queen is queen of england bothered me too i'm a queen no but we are all queens if we want to be queens we are all kings if we want to be kings so i really do not understand why we are competing because i feel the only competition anybody has is the competition you have with yourself who you were yesterday or who you were a minute before an hour before just trying to be better abby guys if you want you know if you if you want to contribute anything to this my thoughts please let me know what you think in the comment section and thank you guys for being with me please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to get your bikinis on and the venue is Nikon Luxury Hotel Abuja to go see Naramali at the pool party. Red carpet starts 4 p.m. And the proper pool party starts 5 p.m. Your security is guaranteed. There's going to be lots of fun, lots of music. See Naramali or the Malians. You know what I'm talking about now. And of course, your girl is going to be trying. Of course, I'll try to be there yes 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 so guys thank you so much for being part of my channel don't forget to click on the notification bell and please do not forget to help me watch the ads and yeah talking about the tickets i have two free tickets to be giving out to um two lucky people so if you are interested kindly let me know in the comment section and i'm gonna be giving you um you just have between now i'm gonna be posting the video and the whole of tomorrow which is friday the 22nd of um november 2019 so you have between now and the whole of not the whole of from to 6 p.m on friday november 22 to you know um let me know so i could make sure you get the tickets two free tickets to go so guys thank you so much for being part of my channel have a beautiful day and bye guys